this bootleg is just like any other bootlegs you see, right? But I guarantee that this stores many unimaginable changes. Straight into the setup, the header text has been centered and renamed to Full Maza Edition V2. Feels better than the original XP setup, eh? Oh, well, this one's a bit silly, isn't it? With just the ETA and a fake progress bar like in Winners Vista setup onwards. But for some reason, Bloodware installations are described like this. What? Oh yeah, don't forget about this wonderful creation by Comran the King. Yeah, the King. And you thought that the bloatwares are just that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. you'll still have to wait for more bloatwares to install as you can see right here. I'm just gonna install all for the sake of your pleasure. Restarting the OS and we can see that the login screen is just, well, wonderful. Like, you can't even see the welcomes text right there. Alright, we're in the desktop. We can see that there are already signs of bootlegness here with those colorful icons, the dock, the taskbar, and this calendar at the center. Opening the start menu, well, the design is supposed to like Windows 7s, but uh, it's not even that close. Take a look at this comparison with Windows 7, like Windows 7 doesn't even have icons at the right section. And the taskbar is not even bluish. Icon trees are in two rows rather than one. And the time and date, yeah, it's badly designed. Moving on to Windows Explorer, other than the messy icon choices and that taskbar in design, it's not bad, like I admit, it's cool. Even when you open the C drive, still good. The task pane is the only thing that needs to be fixed, from my opinion. I mean, honest here, not, not just joking around. The control panel is also normal in here, like no icon change in the category view. And there's not much bad changes within the classic view. Like, it's normal. I'm surprised. Checking out some applets, this playing applet just does, well, nothing. I don't know why. There's drive space indicator, which is self-explanatory, autoplay repair, MS time zone, which can be summoned from the its icon trite. Mmm, nice. And there's MS virtual CD-ROM that doesn't even function like, oh yeah, I, I, I've i got typical bootleg stuff. You saw those which are good. Well, take a look at this. Taskbar properties. I genuinely don't know why this bootleg adds banner to the left side. This makes the setting look like a wizard. No, not that wizard. This wizard. It's pretty still okay, then what's sure about the C next? Yeah, the abomination that makes me feel insane with overly exaggerated items, icons, and. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Next, you can see that search is listed in the start menu, but no rover shown in here. Alright, when you right click on the desktop, what is this context menu? Like, click in the properties and... Wow, I can't even get mad of this display properties disaster. Can't be mad about it. The transparency window is possible thanks to true transparency. There are some themes, like eight themes available with true transparency, but those are just variants of the same arrow type of thing. There are nine themes available within this bootleg. Each has its own distinct design over others, like the task plane positions, start menu design, as well as window layout tweaks. We also got a bunch of desktop backgrounds in here. Thankfully, all of them are SFW. Nothing changed in the screen saver, but Appearance tab offers more window themes than True Transparency offers. Some of them are good, but what you expect from a bootleg? <laughs> Don't get your hopes too high. Sound schemes are also changed to something like these. As for system applications, i.e. Windows Media Player, XP Games, and the quadrinity of Windows apps that include Calculator, Notepad, WordPad, 
and the paint. Aside from that, take a look at the taskbar. You can see that each step has a gigantic gap between each other. This is due to Windows XP's taskbar layout. And there's this crappy thumbnail preview. A blatant bootleg of what we have in Windows Vista onwards. Command Prompt surprisingly has a different color scheme than the default one. This bootleg uses blue-green scheme, which is an eyesore. Again. But you can change it to normal black and white if you know the right command. Task Manager doesn't have a change. This also applies to Movie Maker. Weird thing about this bootleg is that you can't open help and support because the service isn't running by default. Even when you run the service, the theme usage is, well, a bit strange to me. Oh yeah, I almost forgot, Sample Media does exist here, untouched. Open the run dialog and... <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea is this to just put animated banner on a run dialogue? Whose idea is this? Come on! <laughs> oh, that watermark at the bottom! Come run the king creation! Oh, gosh! Oh, no! And he dared to put this email right there! What? Okay. Well, moving on. By running the Winver, the Winver banner is not that good, but not as bad as the <laughs> run dialogue. Oh no. <sighs> Moving on to the dock, it offers several shortcuts such as My Computer, My Network Places, Firefox, and others. Although some of them don't exist, like My Videos, My Documents, My Music, and Media Player Classic, although NBC does have its file with the original Windows Media Player from Microsoft. As for bloatware, starting with the desktop, we have Power Archiver, which uses ribbon design, pretty neat. Power ISO, Real Player, CC Cleaner, Clean Center, which looks a bit goofy to be honest, FLV Player, which plays FLV files. Fawcett Reader, as you know, PDF Reader file. Rainlander, that's actually the calendar that we have seen in the desktop all along. Wow, didn't know that. Ultra ISO, wait what? Power ISO and Ultra ISO. Okay. <laughs> and USB safety remove. As for what's in the start menu, we have 7-zip. Any video converter. Cap pack. ESET Smart Security, Cracked Internet Download Measure, <laughs> Cracked Microsoft Office 2003, gosh, these are cracked. PC SX2 APS2 Emulator, and Visual Tooltip. Overall, this bootleg is just the balance between good changes and bad changes in it, like what Thana said, or as all things should be. <laughs> Thanks to the Crusty Windows VQ for providing the ISO as well as the in-depth page on this view like My god, I can't wait to destroy Windows with some-